Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at Shaggy and Hot Dog Cart from the Imaginex Scooby-Doo line. Very excited to get to this. Uh, this is the only place to get Shaggy from all of the different Scooby-Doo sets. And you also get this really neat mummy character. So I think it's hilarious that Shaggy comes with some kind of food related item because you know how him and Scooby love to eat. Taking a look on the back, it says, What do Scooby and his pal Shaggy like more than solving mysteries? Snacks. This time he's wrapped mystery solving and snacking into one groovy hot dog cart. Speaking of wrapped, like zoinks, there's a mummy chasing him. Break out the condiment cannon. Who's hungry for adventure? So you have the uh, condiment cannon here, which fires a ketchup and mustard missile. And then it says, Wrap and Trap the Mummy, a.k.a. Dr. Najib with sausage links. So that's pretty cool. Push on the power pad to reveal condiment cannon. Launch giant pickles at the mummy. So there you go. You got hot dog mustard. Now I understand hot dog. Obviously most people eat mustard on hot dogs. Ketchup also acceptable. I don't know. Pickles? You bring pickles into it? I guess you bring relish. But not pickles. Pickles is more of a burger thing. But whatever. In any case here are some pictures down here of the different themes. Scooby Doo, DC Superheroes. Power Rangers and Teen Titans. I kind of like when they used to do the pictures of what else was available, but they've gotten away from that recently. Kind of a bummer in my opinion. Not too much going on there on the bottom. So standard open packaging here for Scooby-Doo, as per usual for Imaginex. So let's go ahead, get them out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So this is everything you get in the set. Pretty nice, I have to say, a lot of things included in this set. Um, first we'll take a look at Shaggy. I will say to be careful because Shaggy kind of strikes me as a fragile figure. Um, his arms are definitely kind of skinny and trying to turn them in the socket, they're kind of in there a little strangely. So just make sure you're careful because I really do feel like they could break. Uh, he does not have any wrist articulation because his arms are so thin. His head can turn from side to side and of course he does bend at the waist just like that. He does come with this little apron for selling the hot dogs. It's kind of a softer plastic so that you can get it over his head. And then it just doesn't really clip on, it just kind of, you know, sits against his body like that and kind of holds it in place. So that's pretty neat. I really like this mummy villain. I think they did a great job. All the detailing for the bandages looks really great. Uh, he's got the standard articulation for the shoulders, he has wrist articulation, head can go from side to side, bend at the waist, and then he comes with this mummy mask that you just fit over top, make sure the head's facing forward. And this will go towards the back here, there we go. And then you have your creepy mummy, oh, and I also kind of like how it's like the head is sunken back enough that you don't actually see the eyes, so it looks like it's just... You know, dark. I love that. That's such a great job they've done with that. Really, really like this mummy villain. Very, very cool. And then you have your two condiment missiles. One for ketchup, one for mustard. Pretty basic. Then you have the pickle disc, which you can fling. And then you have the uh, sausage links, which are supposed to wrap around the mummy. You can do something like this to catch him, tie him up. So, bringing in the hot dog wagon, obviously you go ahead and you just put Shaggy in the Imaginex pad. And he just kind of stands there and that's how he drives the Scooby Snacks wagon. Uh, you can take the pickle disc and put it in this piece here and then pull this back. <laughs> and that will fling. Obviously you can fling it much further. I just, I don't want to lose the thing. Uh, you can see that there's a spot here if you want to put one of your condiment missiles for storage. I wish there was a second one on this side, but there isn't. Now how it works is you go ahead and you push the pad down and the launcher will come out. So you take your missile, you pop it into the launcher, and you'll hear a click. Now you can close this back up with the missile inside. And I like the picture of Scooby there, <laughs> Scooby Snacks. So when you press the pad down, that flips out, and then you press this button right here to fire, which can be a little difficult because um, it's just a little difficult to get a hold of the launcher because it's kind of sunken in here with this, 
but press the button down. And see, it does kind of hit, and I feel like I wonder if mine's not coming out all the way. Because you can see how the missile's almost set to fire directly into that. Yeah, there we go. See, it wasn't out all the way. And I'm wondering if I didn't have that pushed in correctly. So there you go. You might just have to assist it a little bit. Because I think... Uh, it looks like it's supposed to stop there, but then that's not far enough. So you can see how there's a little ledge right here. And then there's a little nubbin here on the side of the missile. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see that that has to land, like that has to come out and kind of go up this ramp and then stop. And see, that's what's gonna make when you, now you can press on the button. Remember how I said before, I felt like pressing the button was gonna make it go in? Well, that's what that ledge is there for. So you kind of, you might have to help it out. The spring doesn't get it all the way out, but once you do, now that's in place. And also on this side, the missile has clearance. So that's perfect. So now you can go ahead and fire and I'll tilt this down. Maybe I can set up the mummy. Ooh, missed the mummy, but it did fire <laughs> very well. So that does work. And then you just push this back in and push that closed. And then you do have the second missile if you'd like to fire that. But overall, the aesthetic, I love the color scheme. I wish there was a second sticker on this side. Kind of not sure why they left that blank. I feel like that would have been perfect to have another sticker. Exactly the same as this one's all you would have had to do. I also wish there was a second missile holder on the other side. I know you can keep one inside ready to go, but I kind of would have liked to just have a second one over here along with a second sticker. But I do like the aesthetic. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. <laughs> um, you have the kind of flowers up here for the kind of 70s, 60s motif that uh, Scooby-Doo is kind of associated with. And then of course you have the three wheels rolls very well. So that's pretty cool. I love the hot dog on top. I love the launcher for the pickle disc. I think that works really well. So all in all, I think the functionality for this thing is pretty excellent. It's a fun little set. I believe I got this at Toys R Us for, I think, $16.99. That's kind of what they're everywhere else. Most places sell it for $14.99. Toys R Us sells them for $16.99. But I believe the Scooby-Doo line is, uh, at least for right now, exclusive to Toys R Us. So I would assume once they go out of business, they may open that up. I'm assuming the line won't just die when Toys R Us goes out of business, but I don't know that for sure. So if you want these, I would say definitely get to Toys R Us and pick them up. At this point, Toys R Us is like 25, 30% off. So you shouldn't have trouble uh, getting one of these for a decent price. Uh, the markup is kind of long since gone. But yeah, this, the Shaggy figure is great. Just be careful. He seems a little brittle. So just, you know, be careful when moving those arms around. I love, love, love the uh, mummy for this set. I think they did a great job on him and I think the functionality and everything is great. Only thing I would nitpick, I wish there was another sticker on this side and I wish there was another missile uh, holder on that side. Otherwise, I think the set's perfect. I think it's definitely a lot of fun, but I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Please let me know in the comments below. Please like and share the video and please subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Shaggy and Hot Dog Cart from the Imaginex Scooby-Doo line. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.